2009, the mayor committed to building a green city on a blue lake. And they came up with a whole host of programs, the city did, to try to really advocate for that. 2014 is the year of zero waste. We think food waste diversion is an important part of that story. If your strategic interests can intersect, then everything else can fall in place. And now one plus one becomes three or four or five. And that's what's happening here in, in the green technology space. We have great companies like Quasar and Synchronator. We have Ohio State University. We have Forest City. We have the Dairy Farmers of America and, and other companies. And that's how you find uncommon partnerships to find uncommon solutions to problems we all share in common. Well, I think one of the really cool things about this partnership is that you've got, you know, traditional uh, farmers, you've got the food industry, you've got the government and USDA, you've got communities and others working towards a common goal here. It's a fantastic effort. You know, currently, only 3% of all of the food scraps in the whole country actually get captured. Other than that, food is the largest contributor to landfills today. And when it's there, it produces methane, which is a powerful greenhouse gas, 25 times um, the potency of carbon dioxide in terms of its global warming potential. So what this effort's doing is taking that um, product out of landfills and actually capturing the value of it. And what's really neat is that it's capturing it in several different ways. For dairy farmers, investing in green technology is absolutely smart business practice because farmers have been the original environmentalist since day one. But today, every time they improve uh, things on their farm that have a resulting uh, impact on the, in the environment, they're saving themselves money or finding new income streams, but they're also doing good for the land, doing good for the air, and they're really interested in making sure that the environment is here to produce good quality food in an abundant format, and that's why they're really interested in this technology. The reality is it's a technology that benefits all of society. Yes, we can use it in a farming operation, uh, but we also use it in municipal situations. Uh, for example, there are cities in the state of Ohio that are using anaerobic digestion as a way to uh, eliminate food waste uh, from uh, being part of our landfill operations. Uh, this is really going to be critical as we move forward because we're capturing a lot of uh, what will escape into the atmosphere uh, as a waste and, and we're turning that into energy to solve some of our energy needs. Well, we know that we are capturing about three and a half tons every game and putting it through our grind to energy system and that's allowing us to make energy out of the food that would normally be put into trash cans and quite frankly then put into landfills. So now we're reusing the food to create energy to also then create biosolids that can be a fertilizer and that can go back into fertilizing the soil. It's the full circle of, of agriculture. You know, we take, uh, we take what wasn't converted and now we convert it. Uh, I think it's $165 billion of food that's wasted, that's not consumed annually, landfills and other. It's, a, it's at least now, although it's not for human consumption in the form of nutrients uh, for our bodies, it is in, in the form of energy for heat, electric, and motor vehicle fuel, our favorite.